Hi, it's Gadget UK here again. Um, as you can see, looking at Commodore 64 again. Um, I've just been inundated with bits of pieces for Commodore 64s recently. So apologies, there've been so many of those types of videos. I'll try and when I come to edit these, I'll try and mix in a few of the other ones I've got sort of stored away that I haven't had a chance to upload and stuff just to make mix it up a little bit so it's not all Commodore 64 stuff but there is apologies you know there is quite a few or there are quite a few videos that uh, I have to upload and um, all related to 64s anyway this one uh, you've previously seen the fan modification everything there all working great no issues at all now I didn't have my CIA's heat sink um, it was one of those things that was kind of on my mind do I really need to oh, yeah they got a little bit warm but I didn't really pay any attention to it in retrospect I probably should have done um, because just intermittently with the 64, ever since I first got it, there was just occasionally like a glitch with inputs. Um, you know, I'd sort of hit the input up direction, it just wouldn't respond, and I'd switch it off and on, and then it'd be okay. Um, so, but it only happened maybe two occasions, and I didn't really think much of it um, until yesterday. And what happened yesterday is I noticed a problem. Um, loading Last Ninja, and in fact it'll probably do it again now with this particular CIA, so ultimately I need to swap that out, but um, if I try and load the game, and there's nothing, I guess I could show you, but I'd be fast forwarding through it all anyway, because it takes so long to load, what actually happens is it skips the intro, the, 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 you know, it just takes ages to load, and the whole game's loaded, there's no intro, um, and I spent ages digging around trying to find any, you know, examples where this might have occurred previously for other people and other machines and stuff and I couldn't find anything other than perhaps on the Chameleon 64 there's a known bug where it does that, it skips the intro, something to do with one of the second controller inputs on the 64 GS, you know, the, 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 the games console type version of the 64 and I couldn't see how that would be relevant because there's only one button on the, you know, a load of the disc versions here, so uh, it just didn't make any sense. I removed the SID just to rule it out in case it was something to do with the pot X, pot Y, or, you know, the input that comes from the joystick ports into there, it wasn't that. Um, and the last thing I was thinking is maybe there's something wrong with the SID, and then, just for no apparent reason, having done nothing at all, um, I switched it off and on, and suddenly noticed that up wasn't working on the joystick. Um, and no matter what I did, you know, just press reseating the couple of chips. In fact, there's only one or two. There's only one chip. I think there's the sockets are on there. There's the there's the SID and the uh, VIC. Uh, just you know, it didn't make any difference reseating those. So I thought it looks like I've got a failure here. Now I cleaned up the joystick ports. Um, at that point, um, it was a little. It, I would say it's better with other directions and things, it's a better connection, but up still wasn't working. So I looked at the pin out, I think it was pin 1, followed pin 1 to the CIA, and I think it goes to pin 2, is, is where pin 1 on the D port there, on port 2 goes to, goes to pin 2 on the CIA. And there was a short there, so obviously it was making it to the CIA, so it was a case of, you know, at that point, still didn't have, the up still wasn't working, um, I thought, it's game over, the CIA has failed. So, um, as you can see, I socketed it, took out the, uh, old CP, the, the old CIA, in fact the, the old CIA is back in now, put a socket in, put the old CIA back in, still wasn't working with up, just to you know make sure the socket was right, took that CIA out, put another CIA in, tested it again, up's working fine, no problem, as last ninja loads, it doesn't skip the uh, intro, everything's happy and sweet and everything. And they got a couple of other C64 boards, and one of them was missing a CIA, so I put the faulty, this faulty CIA in there, and I thought, you know, at the same time, let's do a bit of investigation, um, just to see, I'd be interested, you know, um, what I can find out, and I started looking on the, um, I think it was, I can't remember, it's one of the wikis for the C64, it might be the developer wiki or something, I found um, the information there about exactly how the CIA works, um, I'll just switch this off actually while, it's, while I'm talking, um, I thought I'd switch, uh, I found that article on the C64 wiki, and uh, it covers the pinouts there, and you know, exactly how this chip works, and one of the things it mentions is you've got internal pull-ups, 5-volt uh, pull-ups on all of the, uh, these, you know, well, not all of them, but many of the uh, input and output lines, so, from pin 2, in fact, I'll measure this now, I'll show you, if I get the uh, multimeter in shot, if I can, I might have just move the camera, actually. Yeah, so you can see that now, we're in shot, I'll switch it on, power's on, I've got my uh, negative on the ground plane there, uh, and if I just measure, I've got to do this without short in it, because I will cause a problem if I'm not careful, uh, so I'm on the phone, so that's not going to help, um, and if I just measure pin 2, You'll see there we've got about 4.54 volts. Let's just check pin 3. It's a bit low, that. No, that's about right. They're all about 
something volts because of the internal pull-ups. Now, when I measured that pin, as it was faulty, both in this board and in the other C64 board, it was measuring 0.3 of a volt. So straight away I was like, ah, oh, something wrong with the internal pull-up on this, possibly. It might be something else causing it to short, you know, dragging it down. But that was my first thought. I thought maybe the internal pull-up's gone on that pin too. So, um, you know, and I, 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 t I tested it quite conclusively, um, you know, uh, on and off, on and off, you know, ch taking the chip out, putting it back in, measuring it again, 0.3 volts, putting it in a different board, measured it again, 0.3 volts, every single time. So then what I did is I got a, a wire link, and you can probably just about see this pin up here, um, the fourth one along on the user port, I think it is, comes to a little via, well that's 5 volts as far as I can get, it might not be VCC, but there's 5 volts on there, so I thought I'm going to stick a wire, uh, via a resistor, and I actually calculated, actually, based on the, the voltage that was there, how, um, sorry, I measured the resistance, I've missed a step out here, I measured the resistance, and the internal resistance was different to the other pins by about, I think it was shy of about 800 ohms or something, and I worked out if I put a 1.8k resistor from VCC to there, I would be compensating for the deficiency of the resistor internally, and should be putting 5 volts into it, effectively, you know, it should be, um, and the resistance should be equal to the other uh, pins on there, the other you know uh, pins used for the joystick ports and stuff, and the you know the row and column, I guess it might be columns on the keyboard thing there, matrix. Um, and so I tried it with resistor, nothing. It was the voltage was still 0.3 volts. It wasn't making a difference. And I was at the same time, I was sort of holding this wire there, you know, holding it in place and pushing up on the joystick. Um, while the game was loaded and I could see the character wasn't doing, wasn't moving upwards, just wasn't doing anything. So then I thought, okay, well let's just feed 5 volts straight in, got nothing to lose. So, uh, again, from here, from this point here, fourth one along, 5 volts, fire a wire into that pin, press up, suddenly the character's moving up. Take the wire away, the character's still moving up. Switch it off and on, the character's still moving up after I've loaded the game. I'm like, what? How is that even possible? Measure the voltage on here, 4.5 volts. As you've just seen, it's the same as all the other pins, 4.54, roughly. Um, taking the chip out, put it in another board, powered that up, measured the voltage, it's fine. Played with it, it works. Used it for a couple of hours, it works. There's nothing wrong with it. I just don't get it. It's almost like something's... I don't know. It's like, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. It's like I've there's something wrong internally, a connection or something, and adding 5 volts directly into there for a short period of time has caused it to start working again. I don't know, if you you know what's going on there, I mean, are these N... Oh, I forgot what they are, is it NMOS or something, the technology of these, or is it HMOS? I can't quite remember what these are, but is there any way you can actually fix um, a stuck... Do you get stuck gates in these or something? Is, it, is that what's going on, or is it the resistor? And if it was the resistor, if the internal resistor had a, an issue what why would adding five why would you know power it just temporarily with five volts have done anything i don't quite get it but it has it's worked it solved it and it's just kind of got me thinking i wonder how many more cias there are out there like this that have got a faulty input or output you know one of the pins around there it's like 16 bit isn't it um if you just temporarily feed five volts in there just for a few seconds and test it until it works does it then continue to work? Is this like a? I mean, is it just? I imagine is it just fluke? It, I can't believe it's just fluke because I did that much stuff trying to get it to work. And it was only when I suddenly fed five volts directly in without a resistor, suddenly it's working, and it's continued to work. So um, don't know. Very very strange. Um, yeah, I'd like to uh, uh, see if I can come across some more faulty CAAs. Not ones that give black screens, but ones that have get, got a faulty key on the key, you know, a, a row of keys on the keyboard or a faulty input on the joystick, and try that same approach, just temporarily feeding five, uh, plus five volts straight in to help um, with that. You know, if there is a problem with a pull up um, or something stuck, I don't like that term really because they don't get stuck. You know, it's not it's not how it works at an electronic level. But something, it's done something, that, that, adding that 5 volts there has, uh, has done something. Has it heated something up? Um, I don't know, like refused a connection that was bad or... I don't know, that's all, I don't know, I haven't got a clue. Anyway, that's all it is, there's nothing more to show you, um, I guess. I mean, I could, I could show you it working, it's, it's, it, it, trust me, it works, you know. Um, I wish I could have shown you while it wasn't working. Um, 
uh, just at the time I just convinced myself it was the CIA I thought there's nothing really to show here maybe I'll talk about it later and just say look I had to swap out the CIA this is why but actually I've got the original CIA back in now so I fixed it with a bit you know by blasting some electrons down it <laughs> I don't know don't know well interestingly enough it's just happened again um, after I took those measurements and stuff it stopped working again, up wasn't working and I did exactly the same thing, tried switching it off and on, off and on, nothing happening I had 5 volts into that pin it started working instantly, it's still working it's just working fine, if I start it again now uh, I'll open it again just so I can show you when it's not doing it I hit start so I can jump, I couldn't do that a minute ago, it took ages and it's, it's not the controller it's got nothing to do with the controller it's something in this CIA that is failing or breaking down and by adding 5 volts periodically um, I can get it to work. I'm just wondering about, I'm just thinking actually about sticking a permanent 5 volt pull up to that pin um, through a lower value ohm resistor, maybe 1k. Um, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to temporarily, because obviously it's coming back, you know, it's happened um, twice now in the last 24 hours. Um, it's annoying, I should have filmed that when it was doing it just then. Um, I'm going to stick a 1k pull up onto there, uh, I mean I can feel that, you know, those are getting quite warm, it does need heat sinks um, and just see how it goes, so it'd be interesting to see I mean the fact that it's coming back, I would, I'll report back in a week or two if it's still working, I think maybe that that's uh, solved the problem maybe the internal pull-ups in these fail so you can see my little mod there um, it looks like it's quite close to those pins but actually it's not, if you look at it like that sorry, it's not going to focus very well um, yeah, it's, it's just connecting pin 2 through 1k resistor to um, the VCC so yeah I'm gonna give that a try and we'll just see if that works now it's a good opportunity to show you this actually it's stopped doing this now I don't know whether the resistor is actually now causing this but I press up it's not working if I start again left right down fire can't move up oh it did it did see it worked then so that pull up is actually making a difference because normally that would have just not worked at all maybe the value there is needs changing, I don't know. Why would it take so long to start working? That is a bit of a mystery, I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. That CIA is gonna ultimately be replacing I think. Um, we'll see. I'll report back in a few minutes. Now there's another fault with this because the directions are working fine now. Um, you know, that, that has actually made a difference. But there's, I think there's a problem with one of the internal timers or something in it, or the shift register side or something. Because um, I'll show you. If you if I follow the Blast Ninja, it, it does the same with the car. It's not just the disc version. If I press the fire button, I'll show you. Let's see if I can get some camera. If I move the directions, it can move. Hold down fire. Nothing. I can't fire. The inventory window moved there, I think it was because I was near something to collect, so yeah, there. I can't fire. Um, now, if we reset it, so that car will just reboot, press F1, cheat, no. As soon as the intro starts here, now if I skip the intro, just wait for this to come on, skip the intro, hit the button, so the button's worked, which is interesting in its own right, the fact the button's now worked. Um, and as soon as the game starts, if you just watch this, sorry, <laughs> you don't want to see that little knob. I don't mean me. Um, I can hit now. It's working fine, which is absolutely bizarre. Now, if I reset it again, and this time let the intro roll. F1, no. Let the intro roll. You'll see that. And um, I'll hold the button here. You know, I've got my hands hands here, look. So I'm not not pressing anything at all. Has it skipped it? I think it skipped it already. It's just skipped it already, it just skipped it on its own. And at that point, the button will not work. Oh, it's working. It's working this time, that's bloody weird. Let's reset it again, see if we can get the intro to run a bit further, because last time it ran a lot further than that. It ran to the point where it came up with Mark Cale's name. This is just absolutely bizarre. Um, what am I... You know, see, it's not even loaded the intro, it's just gone straight into the game. Uh, let's try the button again. Yeah, you can hit this time. So, I don't know. This is just weird. Um, I might just have a measure around that CIA to see if any of the other pins have got any problems with you know, pull-ups, possibly. 
Um, maybe it's more than just one pen. Um, I've certainly solved the problem with the up direction, but I've you know I've obviously still got the secondary problem with the, the, the CIA. Maybe it's just come to the end of its life. I don't know. I'll uh, report back in a minute. Right, well I've swapped it over, I've got the, an R4 CIA in there now, and it's just working fine with the, the new CIA. So this CIA is shot, it's got two faults as far as I can gather, because there's the pull pull down, uh, sorry pull up, volt, you know, 5 volt pull up on the um, up direction, which yeah that resist, that little resistor there solves that problem, so you can get round that, I can get, you know, I can make this functional, but it skips the load in the last ninja. And uh, just on this one game, it just results where you can't fire after it's after you get that problem where you skip the intro. It's bizarre. If you skip the intro yourself, you don't get the problem. Like there's something wrong with something else inside here. So there are two faults. And if you measure from, I think it's from VCC uh, in resistance mode to each of these pins, you get different. Uh, this particular pin has got a different volume. I'll show you that actually if I can just quickly here. If I just um, switch the meter onto resistance mode. Um, okay, first one. This is the up direction. Get it on there properly. Got to run the wrong way. See these, the other ones are measuring thirteen hundred and sixty something. Three, thirteen sixty, thirteen seventy eight, thirteen sixty something. 1400 but like I say the up direction they say it's quite high at the moment it's measuring uh, just over a K before that was 500 ohms or something thereabouts maybe an 800 it was quite a lot different to the others so there's something wrong with the pull up um, resistor in there but I think there's something else maybe a short maybe what's gone wrong with the pull up side of it is short to the timer you know because the, there's like some sort of real time clock type support built into these um, chips unfortunately um, and I'm wondering if that's what the problem is and that's why you get the problem in this particular game it's making use of the time or something you know the two are coinciding and then it's affected the fire the fire button I honestly don't know but um, yeah anyway if you've got any thoughts or ideas and stuff let me know thanks for watching and I'll see you soon